Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple has released watch OS three. This is a major overhaul and kind of an acknowledgement from Apple that they made a mistake with the previous version and needed to rethink how the watch works in general or overall. So this is a first generation stainless steel Apple watch. I'll be doing a review on the new one later on, but let's take a look at the actual interface of it and see what's changed. The interface is completely different in the sense that they've changed the way everything works. And if we scroll this way, you'll see we have different clock faces. We can go back home. We've got our notifications like we did before. I don't have any right now, but now we have a control center down at the bottom. And before we used to have glances, I believe they called them there. And now we have this control center. So we've got do not disturb airplane mode. Uh, all these different things as far as settings that we want. And then scroll down a little bit more and we can airplay. It will cancel. And let's scroll back down. And what you'll see is this doesn't look too much different, but what these buttons do is if I click this one, we don't get contacts anymore. Now we get messages. So we just scroll through and see our quick apps or the things we use most often instead of getting messages. So these are all the things we use most often and it keeps them here and launches them quickly. So if I wanted to go into a timer, it launches quickly. If I hit home, it goes home. And then if I hit home again, we go into kind of this crazy layout again. Now, if I want to open something quickly, say calendar, it just opens right up. It actually stores the last 10 apps that you've used. So we've got better performance with this update, faster app launching, which you've seen already. Let's go home here. There we go. Faster app launching. You swipe up for the control center. You can also swap faces quickly. Like I said, now you can share activity with friends. So if you're working out and you want to share that activity, you can do that as well. So you can use the app, the activity app on your phone to share your activity. You've also got a new breathe app that's built in. So if we go back here, see if we can find it. I'm not sure if I can find it real easily. There's the breathe app that helps you breathe. We've got a home app. So it's just basically to take a break breathing. It reminds you throughout the day if you want to do that. And then we have, like I said, we have the home app to help us manage our home. If we have a lot of home kit enabled things. And we also have an SOS app to call for help. So we can press and hold the side button and no matter where you are in the world, SOS initiates a call basically. So if we tap and hold the button to turn it off, we've got our medical ID and then we can slide for an emergency SOS and it will call for help. So that's built in also. There's also better third party app integration. So say you use Strava for bike riding, things like that. They can integrate a little bit more, get a little bit more function out of the, out of the, watch. I was going to say the phone, but out of the watch, you can get more function, especially in watch two, where it actually has, or watch series two, where it has a built in GPS. So that should be nice. And then finally, there's not a huge amount of updates, but finally you can actually unlock your Mac. If you have Mac OS Sierra, if you bring this near your Mac, so you'll bring it near, it'll unlock the Mac just knowing that it's on your wrist. And if you take it off, it locks it. And we'll check that out when Mac OS Sierra actually comes out. So that's all the updates with watch OS three. There's not a ton of huge things, but they've recognized that this is basically a fitness device and that's what most people use it for. But I'd love to hear what you think about the new update. Is it something you really like you dislike? Do you use the Apple watch? Do you not care about it? Or maybe you like the Android wear watches better. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.